Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. So how do you know when it's time to reside your home? So Todd, in this case, we've got a customer that had an old masonite type of siding, which is uh, it's a it's a byproduct of some sort of a fiber board that was made back in the 60s and 70s. And along with that, they had vertical cedar boards on the house, giving it that old ski chalet look. Yeah, right. right. Okay, and uh, this particular customer was of retirement age. Mm -hmm. She has a number of children and grandchildren and even some great-grandchildren. And the bottom line is, over the years, they did a beautiful job in maintaining the house and upkeep. But, you know, with busy lifestyles, as the children and grandchildren are growing older, she just didn't want to have to, be, you know, count on them right. to help out with the maintenance anymore. Right, and if you don't maintain uh, this masonite product, which is basically paper right as soon as water gets to that what happens it just bubbles up and it's it's uh, it's deteriorates very quickly it does in fact Todd I just took one small piece off of the side of the house just so we could show the backside here and just showing that that moisture over years over the years even when you do great upkeep it's it soaks through and eventually it's just gonna rot away in the same thing we took a cedar board off to show the very same thing right. how it just you know is as nice as you can keep that paint over time it does have a shelf life yeah pe people think that cedar is, is one of those um, you know non maintenance type of products but that's not true it, it uh, it, once the water gets to it and it freezes and thaws in this climate, um, it starts to split. It, it takes in water and in no time it has to be either repainted or it has to be replaced. Right. Yeah. And in this case, there's really a lot of options in what typical remodeling companies can do to put a new siding product over the top or, you know, over the house as it exists. Explain, Todd, what we see a lot of siding companies doing out there with masonite. Well. The thing that they generally do, which is the mistake, is they'll leave the masonite up and then they'll side over the top of the old masonite. Why would they do that? Well, it, because it takes time and labor to remove the masonite and they want to, you know, it, it's, a, it's a more inexpensive job and people don't know that when you're encapsulating that masonite, it's just going to deteriorate. Now you have a foundation that's not really solid. Yeah, uh, underneath the new siding, right. uh, it's just going to continue to hold the moisture and rot away, attract bugs, insects, you know, things like that over time. So, so how are we any different? What are we going to do for this installation? Well, so what we're going to do is take this old masonite out, make sure that we have all the rotted material out, the substructure will be exposed. We're going to leave the sheathing on the on the siding on the house as it exists because it's fine. Okay. But we do, you know, once we get that out, we find that we usually have to replace some of the two by four structures that have been rotted or deteriorated, and then we're going to go back over that with a Tyvek home wrap, and that makes a vapor barrier so that it can allow moisture from the inside to go out, but not the other way from the outside in. And once we're done with that. Then we're going to apply our siding. And what type of siding are we going to do? Well, what we're going to put on here, Todd, is going to be a double four inch insulated siding. And the reason that we put the insulated siding on is while it does add a certain insulation value to the home, the whole purpose of that insulation back siding is to give it some resilience and strength and also a little bit of resilience for like hailstorms and stones and debris that might kick up along the home. It's an impact resistant type of product. But the beauty of that insulation on the back, it really stiffens that siding and makes it look nice and straight beautiful just like a freshly painted cedar home now when we go over that with cedar we're gonna uh, are the uh, four inch siding Todd we're gonna take and leave all of the cedar off because in addition to the the insulated siding we're putting on we're gonna get a completely different look by not having that old vertical board right. ski that's chalet dated, type of look yeah it that's really kind is. of a dated look that she you know that ski chalet look is, is not something that you see any longer so it dates the house that devalues the house so once we give it a new fresh face and we update it, we get a different curb appeal to it, it's going to raise the resale value of the house quite substantially. Oh, there's no doubt about that. In addition to the siding, we're also going to do the soffit work and the fascia right away. Mm -hmm. So we're really going to make the outside of this house maintenance free. Yeah, Customers be. are going to love the project when it's all done. Oh yeah, it's going to be a beautiful change. So if you find that you have any issues like this, just go ahead and fill out the form right here on the website. We'd be happy to come out to your home and take a look for you.